Wow, they are grinding right along. But I want to talk to Lisa real quick, like here. Uh, Lisa Lockwood is here, former uh, SWAT officer, crime analyst. This this is a crime scene nightmare in that it wasn't discovered, and the prosecutor pointed it out. Officers kind of screwed up. How, how do you factor that into the mix in this case? Yeah, she's uh, Diane Menashe has a lot to talk about right now to overcome with what Mark Sleeper had said. Uh, the prosecution showed that he impeached when he was being impeached himself when he was being interviewed by the, by the police, saying that he was sleeping. He had taken sleeping pill, sleeping pills and slept in. Now we have proof, forensic evidence on his cell phone that there was activity all the way from 1:11 in the morning till 5 a.m. and then again there was a gap and then 8:40 a.m. Clearly, he was not sleeping. So now what? Now what do we do with that? What was he doing um, aside from being on his phone? And then the gap, the amount of time that he was off of his phone, it does put him in a position to, to say the theory. She went off, she was dressed, she was changed, and she went off in the woods potentially to get away from him, and then he accosted her. So that theory is starting to look more solid. So I'm, I'm really interested to see what Diane says. No, am I. So let's go back in live. This is the closing argument from the defense. Here we go. Okay, Diane Manashi, wind her up and she goes. Before we break this a little party for the day, Lisa Lockwood, you're a former SWAT officer. She's kind of bagging on your people, you know, really, really making a point of what wasn't done by the authorities in investigating this case. And it's perfectly okay. Police are not flawless. And what this is going to do is going to show uh, detectives, investigators, how to better do their job. Nobody wants to have egg on their face when they're taking the stand for all of these failures. So they need to come to light. Police need to do better. Training needs to be better. I know the investigating officer on that particular case was a juvenile officer. He didn't deal with murders or suicides or anything of, of that order. So Kind of just wing it as you go and learn as you go. So that's the unfor unfortunate part in all of this. Yeah, I think the, one of the biggest issues is where the visuals. You know, they really should have had that crime scene just littered with, with photos, etc. cetera. Uh, it's going to continue. Lisa Lockwood, thank you so much. Always good to have you. We'll see you next time right here on the network. I'm Michael Bryant. To try to do the right thing. Bob Bianchi standing by. He is going to take you right on into Verdict Watch. And we'll see you next time right here on Law & Crime.